All right, today we're going to branch off from assets and basis just for a minute so we can talk about a concept that many students find difficult to understand. In order for an acid or a base reaction to occur, it often depends on the number of protons available. Whoa, wait a minute. That's got to be a huge number, right? You're right, Jimmy. Let's get into the numbers part of this video. I'll try to make things as painless as possible, explaining the concepts to the best of my ability. Now you're going to have to write this down. A mole is a number that is approximately 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd power, also referred to as Avogadro's number, the man who discovered it. There's always been people who were confused about what a mole really is, but stay with me for a minute as I explain. First of all, a mole is not short for molecule. Those are two different things. Mole and molecule are not the same thing. Second, there is no hard set unit behind the word mole. You just have to think that a mole is in the same terms as if someone would refer to a dozen. We automatically know that a dozen automatically means 12 of something. 12 cookies, 12 muffins, 12 elephants. That is a dozen. Notice, however, a dozen does not imply size or weight, just quantity. Well, a mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd power of something as well. And yes, it's a huge number. A mole is basically relative to what you are referring to, like the cookies, the muffins, and then the elephants. Meaning that it's very specific to whatever molecule or atom you're talking about. So let me give you an example of what I mean because it sort of gets confusing at this point. Let's use H2O as an example. Now follow me closely because we need to reiterate the meaning of a single mole. A single mole is a particular atom which is equal to or is the same as the atomic weight measured in grams. So we're talking about one mole of hydrogen which has an atomic weight of one then we can simply imply it to be one gram. This means that one mole of hydrogen has one gram of hydrogen in it. Another example, oxygen has an atomic weight of 16. Using what we know, we could infer that one mole of oxygen has 16 grams in it. Pretty simple, right? Don't get it yet? One more. The atomic weight of carbon is 12 meaning that one mole of carbon has 12 grams of carbon in it. Fantastic, I'm proud of you guys. Now with this in mind, what's the relationship of one mole to a water molecule? But wait, it was easy figuring out the grams of a single mole if it were just a tiny atom. What, what about this, You've, you're using a whole molecule? Remember how I mentioned that moles are relative to whatever you're referring to and that it's specific to the substance whether it be atom or molecule? In regards to single water molecule, one mole is equal to the entire molecule's weight in grams. In order to get that entire weight, we need to figure out the keyword molecular weight of a molecule. Quick pause. Before we go any further, you need to know about molecular weight and what it means. By definition, molecular weight is the sum of all the atomic weights of each and every atom in a molecule. W wait, w what? Well, Jimmy, in light of H2O, in order to get its molecular weight, we need to add the atomic weights of each of its atoms together. And also, in order to access the atomic weights, we need to know how many and what atoms make up a water molecule. I see here one oxygen and two hydrogens. One oxygen has the atomic weight of 16, and you can find this on the periodic table. There's nothing to calculate here. While the other two hydrogens are one each, that makes a grand total of 18. That's the molecular weight. Perfect, simple enough. So yeah, once we rounded up all the atomic weights together, you end up with the entire molecular weight. To help you remember these keywords, you should know that the keyword atomic is a small part of molecular. Back to the video. From the calculations we previously stated, a water molecule has a molecular weight of 18, or 18 grams of water, in one mole. And again, the saying still holds true that one mole still means that it's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd power. Whether it be one mole of hydrogen, which equals 
one gram of hydrogen, it still equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of hydrogen, or one mole of oxygen, which means that it's 16 grams of oxygen, still equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of oxygen, or even the mole of water, which means that it's 18 grams of water, and even still, it equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of water. One last term you need to understand is molarity, and I'm just gonna throw this out. It's symbolized as the capital letter M. Molarity is when we talk about a substance or molecule in terms of its concentration in a solution. Molarity is the number of these moles of a substance in one liter of a solution. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you loved it. Share it with a friend. Got any questions? Let me know. Comment below. Thanks again for watching and peace.